Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in this video we're going to be talking about a very recent discovery of a very unusual and mysterious flash in space that kind of may have actually showed us for the first time how black holes are created. Or potentially we've just witnessed a destruction of a very very massive star. In other words, we don't really know what it was, but it was definitely very impressive. Let's talk about this and welcome to What The Math. So once in a while, when the astronomers are actually staring at the galaxies, they witness um, something mysterious and something unusual, and this is exactly what happened here. They were looking at a galaxy relatively far away, at a distance of about 200 million light years away from us, and they saw a very, very bright flash. Way brighter than usual. As a matter of fact, it was so bright that it shocked most of them. A lot of uh, scientists actually tuned in to try to see and uh, try to investigate this flash in more detail. And for the past six months, they were actually looking at it and trying to study it in more detail. Now, it doesn't really have a cool name. Unfortunately, the name was procedurally generated and it just so happens that because of the procedural generation, uh, it has the word cow in it. Here's actually the real name, uh, and uh, the word 18 cow um, created the kind of a nickname for this event. It's now known as the cow. Now, maybe not the best name, but definitely the name that you're not going to forget uh, anytime soon. And the actual event uh, that you can see right here uh, was from a galaxy CGCG137068. Now, this particular event um, would not really be a big deal, except that we have no idea what just happened. As a matter of fact, the most recent analysis from uh, only a few weeks ago from when, I, when I'm making this video, from January of 2019, has actually changed our perspective again. We now think that um, we have either witnessed uh, a creation of a black hole, or possibly a neutron star, for the first time ever, by the way, or we may have actually witnessed uh, the destruction of a very interesting star. Now, the NASA simulation that you see right here, um, for the most part, presents this as a kind of a destruction event. So, we have the black hole and potentially a white dwarf, or maybe, possibly some other star, but it's very likely that this was a white dwarf based on the actual observation of the um, spectrum of light coming out of here. And uh, as the white dwarf uh, started to get absorbed by the black hole, eventually the... Um, actual material exploded and this created such a bright flash that um, it was essentially about 100 times brighter than a typical supernova. Now we right now think that maybe this is the best explanation, maybe this was actually the explosion um, through an actual absorption of a white dwarf. But at the same time, um, because we don't really have enough information, we don't really know. But in either case, uh, we're almost certain that it was not a typical event that we usually observe. It was not a typical supernova, and it was most likely not a collision between two black holes or two neutron stars, mostly because we haven't really detected any gravitational waves afterwards. But I guess the biggest mystery is in what we actually saw. So what we've detected was very different from a typical supernova. In this particular case, and this is one of the reasons why the scientists think it was a collision between a black hole and a star, uh, we've actually detected an actual supernova-like flash that uh, lasted only a few weeks, specifically, I believe it was 16 days. And at the same time, it was about 100 times brighter than a typical supernova. In other words, it was very, very bright, very energetic, much more ener energetic than a typical supernova, but didn't last as long as a supernova, because usually supernova can last for up to a year. And based on what we've observed, uh, we think that the te actual temperature here was about 9,000 degrees Celsius, and the material, specifically hydrogen and helium, was moving at about 20,000 kilometers per second, or about 10% of the speed of light. But because this event was so quick and so brief, um, this is why we think that whatever happened there, this is the first time we've ever seen something like this. So either this was the destruction of a star, or a creation of a black hole. And we've never seen either one of those. And because uh, there is actual indication of something really massive on the inside stirring and creating energy, this is why we think uh, it's very likely that the black hole was definitely involved. 
But because this is science, um, this is not an actual agreement just yet. As a matter of fact, there's quite a lot of uh, opposing theories, opposing views, and um, it will probably uh, take a few more of such events or observation of such events before we can finally agree to what actually happened here. So whatever this mysterious event was, um, it was definitely spectacular. But I think the most important thing to take away out of all of this is that there's still so many things we don't really know about the universe, there are so many things we don't actually understand or can't even explain, and there are so many events that are absolutely magnificent and super energetic. Uh, the amount of energy created in this particular event um, was 100 times more than a typical supernova. And at the same time, this event was super short. It was only about 16 days long, as opposed to a typical supernova that usually lasts um, up to about a year. Well, anyway, so once we discover more about the beautiful cow or the cow or SN2018 cow, which stands for Supernova 2018, um, we'll come back to this and we'll talk more about what we've actually discovered. For now, all you have to remember is that our universe is full of these wonderful and very awesome events that one day we might be able to use to our own advantage. We might actually find a way to somehow harness this energy or learn some incredible things from these very interesting events. For now though, um, I think all we can do is just marvel and try to study them as much as we can. On this note, thank you for watching, hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to subscribe and maybe even hit the like button if you've enjoyed this video and come back tomorrow to watch something else. I'll see you guys tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye bye. And I would like to extend my huge gratitude to all of the Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all your support, it means a lot to me. And if you would like to join, click the Patreon link that's somewhere on the screen right now, and consider supporting this channel on Patreon. Thank you guys, space out.